what's going on YouTube, it's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today I'm bringing you uh, Morphing Spectrum Tutorial V1. Um, what I'm doing in this tutorial is transforming a, uh, basically a circle or a rectangle, whatever shape you want, into a logo or any other shape you want. So like say for example, I want to turn a circle into a troll face. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have this composition right now. All I have is a direct remix of uh, Alive by Cruella, which is a very good remix of a very good song. And I have my background, so I'm going to put the uh, audio on top. These are just my background images, ignore them. And what we're going to do now is hit Control y and make a solid and name this Reference Circle. Circle. Make 600 by 600 is a good size because I'm running 1280 by 720. And hit OK. Boom. Now you're going to make a new solid and name this Spectrum. Spectrum and make this one comp size. Okay, and what, then what you want to do, uh, turn off these uh, um, layers and then drag in your picture or logo or whatever you're doing. I'm just going to delete this, and which I'm going to do a troll face in my case, which is a PNG. I prefer PNGs because it's easier to uh, uh, mask out when there is no background. Um, so drag that in. It's obviously big. Scale this down what size you want. So 25. That's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to pre-compose this. Uh, name it. Move up. Move up attributes. And guys, sorry if I sound nasally. Um, I think I'm getting a cold or it's allergies, but it's right before exams, so it sucks. But uh, it's fine. I gotta record this tutorial for you guys. It's a very sick effect. Um, so what we're gonna do now is you have this uh, troll face, and what you're gonna do now is turn that off and turn on your reference circle, and uh, go to your ellipse tool, which should be up here. Click the ellipse tool and then double click it. And you'll make an ellipse, except that was on the wrong comp or wrong layer. So click on your reference circle, double click that circle, and it'll make a uh, four points and a circle. So now what you want to do is go click on your layer, then go to the layer and auto trace and channel alpha, blur, zero tolerance, one pixel, and numeric 10 pixels, threshold 50%, corner roundness. I'm going to put this to 100%. And OK, makes a nice circle. Um, so now what we're going to do is click on your masks and delete mask 1. That was just the four first basic circle. Click the second mask, set it to add or subtract or whatever, and you're good there. So you can turn that off for now, then click on your troll face or whatever you're using. Click on this layer and do the same thing. So click on your layer, layer, auto trace, I'm to, up to 100 is fine, and OK. So now you have both these uh, layers with masks on them. So what we're going to do now, go to that one marker and turn on your spectrum layer and grab that reference circle hit m and hit the keyframe so you're gonna make keyframe for your mask control x pick up that uh keyframe then uh control v paste it on there so now you have that mask then go to your two marker and click control face and uh go to the mask click the keyframe or uh, the clock to keyframe it control x to cut it and click that spectrum again control v so what that does is you have a circle right here, and then, whoa, man, it's a troll face now. That's freaking awesome. Uh, but that's just the basics here. What I want to do is easy ease these. Uh, you can hit F9, but that pauses my recording, so keyframe assistant, easy ease, and it looks smoother of a transition. As you can see, it looks kind of weird at first, but this is going one second. So it, look, it looks decent. What you're going to do now is... Uh, Drag on your audio spectrum. So I already have it searched up, but search in your effects and presets. Drag that on your spectrum layer. And there you go. You can see the spectrum right there across the troll, uh, the troll face. So um, what you do now, go to path and click mask one. So what it does is it follows that path no matter what. So if I turn off the mask, you'll see there's the circle. And it's like, whoa, dog, I'm a troll face now. Yeah, hey, woo. It morphs into it. So uh, what I want to do here is you can see it's kind of light. Take the frequency bands, boost this up. I'm going to boost it up to 200. The circle looks kind of sketchy. Uh, and that's because we did the fine, uh, the fine, um, uh, what's it called? Jeez. Fine edges. Um, if you're using a logo, say like a phase logo or something, you know, that'll have cleaner edges. And you can mask it out yourself if you really want. Uh, but you need a lot of points for this so that otherwise, if you have four points in the circle and it all of a sudden goes to the troll phase, you lose a lot of points. And it looks bad. So um, what you can do is actually bump up some other stuff like the thickness, turn it up to 5, make it look a little thicker, softness, eh, 25%. Play with these values. If you don't know how to use an audio spectrum and customize it to the best of your liking, watch my tutorial on that. I did it ages ago. Um, and then click audio layer, 
and click the song. So there you go, there's the song. And you think, yeah, I'm done, woo. But uh, all you gotta do is change the side to side B, which will be the outside of the troll face and the outside of the circle. So there's that. That's really it for the tutorial, guys. What I'm gonna do, just for, for shits and giggles, is fade this in. So um, take this um, troll face, go to that two marker, put the opacity 100%, and easy ease that thing because easy easing keyframes always makes it look better. Go to one, drag that down to zero, boom. So now what that does is when it's all circly, then it's like, boop, troll face time. Yeah. So that's it for the tutorial, guys. Uh, you can play around the settings more, like changing colors and such. Um, if you're done with this and you don't really want that troll face anymore, um, or say the reference circle is completely pointless now, hence the name reference. So just delete that layer. Don't need it anymore. Um, and that's it. So you have this nice spectrum, and it morphs into something else, which I find really cool, and I really enjoyed it, uh, just playing around with these uh, settings. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button below, subscribe button up top. Helps me out a ton. I don't even know if the subscribe button's up top anymore, but I don't care. I've been saying that so long. Um, any subscribes help out a ton. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching once again. My name's Cool Ninja Guy, and I'm out. See you later.